Feeling way too hot, high headed, I got a fever. I came from heaven and made it through hell, and now I got Ethan. Should've believed you, damn, you should've believed me. She took a dab of that, till she had cataracts. Grabbed the rack, she had a MAGA hat. I tapped the back to Adam Zap. Uh, I told him. Hey you guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Naughty Love Movement. It's your girl Nikki bringing you the latest and trending topics and I vlog my life. So today you guys, Candace Owens, the political commentator, is trending because she leaked footage of Kim K leaving messages to Ray J. And I wonder where this came from. Mm, Kim, you need to watch your back, sis. Um, you got a lot of enemies. Like, this could have came from anywhere. It could have came from Kanye. It could have came from Ray J. But I wanted to present this footage to my naughty crew to see what you guys think. Um, I'm not surprised because I think um, Kim K is trash. All right? She'll do anything, anything for fame. And that is a dangerous person but for the life of me i couldn't understand why kanye was standing side by side with candace owens when she drags kim kardashian his kid's mother on a regular basis i mean she was just reported when um ray j first hit the scene about how he was going to expose them she reported if this was the case her words if this was the case kim is a prostitute and chris is a pimp those were her exact words. And now he's posing side by side with her, wearing her uh, White Lives Matter t-shirt. This is all for clout on both parts, all right? Um, but I wanted to present it to my Naughty crew to see what y'all think. But on the other side, because you know here at Naughty Love Movement, we like to present both sides. I also have audio of Ray J, okay, talking about the relationship that he orchestrated with him and with me houston okay so hollywood is wearing this ugly head naughty crew please please leave comments let me know what your thoughts are are please make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button and follow us on our all our different social media platforms until next time naughty crew i'm out one it's not the sweet little kim k that she presents today she's nasty she's calling Whitney Houston, a crackhead, and she's yelling at Ray J. And this tape landed on my lap, and I am told that there is much, much more, and it is the opposite version of the Kim Kardashian that your kids have been following. This is just a sample of the tape. Again, this is a voicemail that she left Ray J. Take a listen. Ray, it's Kim. I just want you to know that I think you are so disgusting and desperate who leaves their email address on their machine? You clearly want people to call you, but yet you won't call me back. And actually, you know what? Don't call me back. Don't ever call me back. I never want to talk to you ever, ever again. I think you're honestly a sick human being, and I think you are just so desperate that you'll do anything for f attention, and you're just so disgusting. Honestly, so like have fun with old tag Whitney Houston. Like she's so sick and like crack is definitely not whack with you guys because you are just honestly it like makes me laugh on how disgusting you guys look. You know say you're in Vegas with Whitney and you need to go hang out with your old like friend and it's not right but it's okay i'm definitely gonna make it anyway because you guys are just disgusting and sick and stop you're with her i don't understand it she's so old and sick and you are just sick and desperate so leave me the f alone and stop messing with them, I was right at the peak of the Kim K, sex tape, Whitney Houston, just I'm on top of the world as far as being a bad boy. Right. So at that point, it just, you know what's up. I right. have to say shit to you. You're going to okay. be with me when I want you to be with me. Right. And then when we're not together, I'm going to be with her, whoever the fuck I want to be with. You know what's up with me. I'm this, I'm on, I'm right here. Right. And this is what's up. 
This is my life. Publicly, you know what I do. And how did you feel about that internally? Were you cool with that? At that point, I was both in office. Okay. I didn't have anybody to be like, hold on. Cut all of this shit out and, and, and re reconstruct your career now. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Recon reconstruct it now. Once the Whitney thing happened, you had that. I could have reconstructed crazy. But at the same time, a lot of people was turned off because she was big. And I was, make, I was getting her right, but she was a little older. And her image in the past wasn't as solid as if I got with a Mariah Carey. No, but you could have been the guy to turn her around after the Bobby thing. Oh, absolutely. You could have been the guy to come in and been like, you know what? The one thing I don't want to do, you could have been on the view talking about the one thing I don't want to do to, to a woman that's been through so much is ever take her back to that place. So yeah, it, made would, it made me change. I would have had to be with her, though. No, right, right. But I'm just saying, even as a friend. No, no, no. I would have had because to. Because the gossip but was I would there. Have still had to, I would have been with Whitney Houston. Right. And that was something that every day I was with her, I was not happy. Right, right, right. Like, I was not happy. Right. It, and was, I, it, was, and the, I, it was the right thing. And to do. I saw myself. Like, I was like, yo, I'm on top of the world. Right. Look at all the people I'm shaking hands with right now. Right. Right now, today. Like, right. I mean, or when I was with her. Yeah. On top of the world. Right. Like, literally, after, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the dude said, boom, I would sit at dinner. People would come in, the prince or whatever, and be like, yo, we want to give you this. We want, we would love for you to be, hey, hi, hi, what are you doing? People right. Like this. Boom. And I'd be like, cool, but I wasn't happy. Right. I wasn't happy. She was yearning, you know, for things. For I mean, more. For she was yearning. Yeah, we don't have to. We, we, you know what I'm saying? For me and for everything. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Still. And I was unhappy. So, so I didn't want to sell my soul. For that, right. For that. But See, I that says that's a good guy, though. Right. Knowing that it's not right. Knowing that I'm playing with her mind a little bit mm -hmm. to get me somewhere. Right. But what's crazy is that What's crazy is that now, now that you tell me that, mm -hmm. and now I can, I can still do that. Like it's it's the new man. Yeah, the new man can do that. But the, I'm just saying, as the new man, we have that option, and we should take advantage of that option. Because every time you, you tell, should do her right. I always do her right. I always do her right. Before we were really right, you know how long it took me to really make it right with her. Wait, do you and understand what I could do? She would. I'm trying to tell you. Let me tell you. If Whitney, if is she clean? Absolutely. She's until clean, Ray. Until until if I want her to be. What? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's turn this on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I want I'm feeling way too hot, high-headed. I got a fever. I came from heaven and made it.